Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is CSS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Previously in this series we have learnt about CSS border property. Today we are going to learn about CSS outline property. Outline and border may seem confusing to beginners, especially because of the way they work. But there is a fundamental underlining difference between both. Outline is used to highlight outside the border. I'm going to show you that in hands-on in today's episode. Let's get started. This is part 14 of the series. You, you also want to maybe check out the HTML and JavaScript playlist that I have on my channel that will help you become a front, front end developer. All right, coming back to the CSS series, I have already covered 13 episodes from basic that will really help you master CSS. So make sure that you go through them in order to learn and master CSS with me. Today we are focusing on learning about CSS outline property. So outline is a line drawn outside the elements border. An outline is a line that is drawn around the elements outside the borders. Okay. Remember that that's the very, very fundamental difference between border and outline. With outline, it will be outside the borders, whereas border will put a border around the element. Okay. Now outline has four important properties. Outline style, outline color, outline width, outline offset. You can also set them all using the minified or the shortcut, which is using outline. All right. So this is just like border, but remember the difference being that outline will be outside the border. Okay. So let's go ahead and see that in the hands on. All right. So in the previous episodes, we have put a simple border for the elements. If you notice today, we will add outline to that. So this was a simple example we took in the last episode to cover height and width. We added a border. I'm going to add an outline to this and you will mention that I want two pixel solid and green color outline. So remember the difference between border and outline is that border will put it around the element. Outline will be outside the border. Let me go ahead and refresh this. So now you see here that the green color border is there, but it is outside the border. Okay. So if I remove the border, you see, there is a green color outline. It looks like it's a border if there is no border, but if there is a border, it would be outside the border. You can see here clearly there is a red color border and then there is a outline, right? So why, where do we use outline? Let's say you want to make something stand out with a certain specific outline, shining border, etc. You might want to use outline. Okay. There are different things that you can customize. You can say outline style, or width, color, etc. Or you can define in one go like this. All right. So those are the four important properties of outline. We'll be using it when we start developing a live project. But for now, this is a learning runway for you. Learn all the properties first, and then we will start coding live projects for you. Practice outline in today's episode. In the next episode, we will learn very, very important concept, which is display property in CSS. A lot of uh, magic and elegance that you see in websites is also because of the display property. If you know, if you can master the display property in CSS, you will be halfway through in design. So that's very important. So join me in the next episode. We will learn about the display property in CSS. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. See you in the next one.